guys, Property Lynn Brothers is here today in the Tanjung Ru Enclave in District 15. Now right behind me is Water Place, the youngest condominium here in this enclave. We are in a 99-year leasehold property here. Now we're going to head into this 3 plus study, generous size of 1496 square feet. We're separated by two ponds as well as the tennis court that's up ahead. So this is still great for you. <laughs> so. We think you'll really like this one because it has one of the quietest spacings that you can get in the development. If you're ready, let's go check it out. We are in Tanjong Ru today in a project called Water Place and we are in a 99-year leasehold property here. This lease here started in 1998 and it actually TOP'd in 2005, making us one of the youngest projects here within the Tanjong Ru cluster. Now, there are a total of 437 units in this project and they are spread across 5 towers and up to 15 to 20 storeys. The project here was developed by Tanjong Properties Private Limited and there's a combination of 1 to 5 bedroom type units. So the unit here is 1496 square feet, we have 3 bedrooms and a space and provision for study. We have the kitchen, your yard, utility and wash closet at the back. And we also have a beautiful patio with a great view and we can go check it out later. Now since we're already in this beautiful living room, let's talk a bit about this space here. Now, there it's currently fitted with a three-seater couch. You have some cabinets here and a TV console. Now nothing here is a fixture, so when you come over, maybe you might have some ideas that you'll like. You can perhaps do a TV feature wall here, and then you can do some built-in cabinets on the other side. But otherwise, we think that this space here is very squarish, it's a good space, and you have a very nice distance between your couch and TV, so there's a lot of things that you can explore with when you want to do your renovation. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about the location. So where Water Place is at is in Tanjong Ru, which is towards the tail end of District 15. So if you take a look at the map, you'll see that the Tanjong Ru MRT station is upcoming right next to us in 2024. And that is the Thompson East Coast Line. So connectivity is getting stronger here. When the line is ready, we're just four stops away to Marina Bay MRT station, which will be your first interchange. So you can get to your North-South line or your Circle line, and that will help connect you to the rest of Singapore. Now aside from that, you might often see a lot of residents here in their fitness gear because we are just nine minutes away to the nearby East Coast Park and nine minutes to the Singapore Sports Hub and that's also where a lot of our residents will get their amenities and their grocery shopping where you can expect your Kalang Wave Mall and we're also just a short drive to Parkway Parade where you can get more of your grocery options and food options as well. For our drivers not to worry, ECP and Nicole Highway is just about eight minute drive away and from the ECP you'll get connected to your MCE as well as your AYE and for the Nicole highway that will connect to KPE as well as PIE. Now let's go check out the patio space here. Because we are a patio unit, we get this beautiful space and recently the MCST has allowed for the awnings to be installed. This has added extra shade for the people that are staying here and will also increase the usability of the patio space because we are in a little bit of a west sun direction. So the west sun coming towards this way but we are predominantly south but with the installation of this awning here it has allowed for a little bit of the sun protection so this is a great space for you in the evenings you can do your outdoor dining over here so what we've seen some other patio units doing is that they put out some carpet grass here so it makes it feel like you are in a landed home because you have your little private garden in your living space so coming back to the patio space, you'll see that we have a very generous size one. Now this is about 270 square feet of space out here. It's very nice in terms of the layout. So maybe on that side, you might want to add your greenery. And then over on this side, you can add the lounge chair just like how the owners have already done. So if you want, you could put more seating spaces and even a coffee table here. So when you host your friends, you know, you can just enjoy the breeze as you can see my hair blowing. Is it blowing? Blowing a little bit. Uh, yeah, so this is a great space if you want to host your friends. Otherwise, the living room space and your dining room space is also very generous. On top of that, we have dual entrances because of this patio unit. So we acknowledge that not all patio spaces have this feature, but this condo does. So after your kids are done with a swim, they can run over and come in from this side over here. 
Another thing that we note in this condo is that only the ground floor units will be the ones that will get to enjoy this outdoor space. The ones on the higher floors do not get any sort of balcony. So if you're someone that enjoys the breeze and maybe like to spend some time outside, the patio units are something you might want to look out for. I think this is a good time for us to talk about the site plan analysis. Now you can see right behind me, there is actually no other condo units looking into ours. You have a great separation. We're separated by two ponds as well as the tennis court that's up ahead. So if you look at the condo from the top, you will see that there are generally different kinds of facings that you will get. Of course, you will always have the ones that are internal facing looking towards the pool. And this is something that many families like. There are also stacks that are facing towards other communal facilities. Then you also have the stack that's facing towards the outside. So there are stacks that are looking towards Tanjong Wu Road from the side and in the front. And then we also have a stack that's looking towards Sanctuary Green, which is right beside us. So Tower E is also facing towards the East Coast Expressway, but you will realise that because of the buffer there, we don't experience too much of that sound. So that's very nice. So if you're looking for something a bit more serene and quiet, this stack might be the one for you. Now let's go ahead into your second dining space. So you can have a dining space out in the patio or you can have another one inside. You'll see that there's actually quite a nice segregation from your dining room and your living room space. And we'll talk a bit more about that later as we compare some floor plans. So as mentioned, no fixtures here. So if you remove the console over there, you'll be able to fit in a larger table. But right now it's fitted with a four-seater and it's a very comfortable size for the family over here. Now looking at the original floor plan, this area here was actually enclosed up. So there was an enclosed kitchen, but it was hacked away and opened up into this open bar counter sort of concept. So with this, you might be getting some ideas on how you can expand out the area to make this into an open bar counter. But otherwise, if you're someone that enjoys heavy cooking, you can always reinstate the walls here and put a door back over at the entrance over here. So the kitchen here has two countertop spaces. So this is a great space for you to do your meal prep, prepare, prepare over here, and then you do your heavy cooking over on this side. So there is quite a lot of space. And because this is currently open, when you're doing your food prep, this is perfect for you to check on your kids who might be in the living room area. So within this kitchen, you will see quite a lot of storage. So your fridge here above, you can see that there's actually still provision to upgrade to a bigger fridge, but this is already quite a big sized fridge. And then you also have storage above. This area here is where you can put your condiments and your space on top. And then throughout the entire home, you see storage on both sides of the counter. And then looking over here, you have your cooker, hood and hob, as well as an oven here. So I think this kitchen's already equipped with your essential necessities for your heavy cooking as well as your baking and then moving towards this side you have your sink that is tucked away nicely towards this corner and then more storage above as well so behind me in the yard area there's a wash closet as well as a utility room which is enough for you to put a bed there are windows over there if you have a live-in harbor that's a good room for her to use but otherwise you can also convert that into storage as well Now, let's talk floor plans. Okay, so there are over 20 different types of three bedroom unit configurations that you can find here. We're not gonna go through all of them, but let's just talk a little bit briefly about them. So what we've noticed is that there are two major types. There are the ones that are more vertical, and then there are the ones that are more horizontal, which is what our floor plan is more of like. The horizontal units are the ones with the bedrooms side by side. So common bedroom, common bedroom, and then your master bedroom. But for the vertical ones, you have the common bedrooms tucked towards one corner, and then your master bedroom on the other side, closer towards the family space. And for the horizontal ones, we realize that that's reserved for the three plus study type of layout. Whereas for the three bedroom types, they are the ones that enjoy the vertical fashion, more of like a dumbbell layout. So some other things that we've noticed with the vertical layout is that their living and dining areas are separated. Whereas for the three plus study horizontal layout, the bedrooms, because they're all side by side, their living and dining spaces are also side by side. So you have a proper segregation already, which is a nice feature to have because in many homes, you commonly find that they all share the same space. So this is a very special feature for the unit here. So we're gonna move on to the resting zones in the unit. We're 
come into the bathroom first. Now this bathroom is of a very good size and is really well maintained. You have the shower screen already installed and it's already leveled up a little bit so that you don't have to worry about water coming out. You have a very good size sink here so a lot of space for you to still put some extra stuff and then storage below as well. So behind the shower screen you also notice that there is a ventilation window which is great so that will help dispel any kind of moisture in the toilet. So let's move on to the common bedroom but before we do that let's take a look at the floor pan because where I'm standing at right now is actually a dedicated study area so you can put a study desk here if you like there is still comfortable space but otherwise you can also put a shelf here and you can put some books or your decorative items. bedroom you'll see that the shape of the bedroom is quite squarish and no sort of odd shapes and actually if you look from an aerial view you will see that the condos are a little bit curved and so the units here are also kind of shaped around this condo design but what we like that the developers have done is that they have kept all the rooms in a very regular squarish shape and the odd shapes are usually left for the patio spaces or the living and dining areas so if you're moving in in terms of doing your renovation we think that will be easy for you or even buying movable furniture wouldn't be a problem because what we have here is a queen size bed but there's still a lot of comfortable space for you to put study desk here or maybe extend a wardrobe but on the other end we already have wardrobe there so generous size room we'll check out the second room as well which is also of a really good size so your second common bedroom here is slightly smaller than the other you can still put a queen size bed over on this side and then still have space for a study table or a vanity table and still not compromising on your walking space it's still a very comfortable generous size bedroom and then you still have your wardrobe over on this end so with the extra space here you could do like an l-shaped wardrobe if you like but otherwise you can keep the wardrobe just put a queen size bed and your study table Let's compare the prices in the vicinity. So starting at Casual Arena Cove, TOP in 1996, they're asking price at 1.99 million for a unit standing at 1,378 square feet. Their PSF there is going at 1,400 odd dollars. Now moving on to Sanctuary Green, the second youngest project that TOP in 2003, their asking price is at 1.95 million for a 1,302 square feet space. Their PSF going at 1,500 dollars. Moving on to Park Shore, freehold project, three bedroom unit is asking at 2.5 million for 1,367 square feet and their PSL going at $1,828. Moving on to Kosaru TOP in 1998, their three bedroom units they are asking at 2.58 million for 1,647 square feet space, their PSF at $1,570. And finally at Pebble Bay, a project that also TOP in 1998, their three bedrooms are asking at 3.3 million for a 1,894 square feet of space and their PSF going at 1,742. So coming back to Water Place, our project TOP in 2004, our asking price of 2.15 million with a PSF of $1,437. Now looking further into the District 15 region, in the East Coast area, there are generally three clusters that we we'll like to consider. You have the Fort Road cluster, the Mayor cluster, and also this Tanjong Ru cluster. Let's do a quick breakdown. Now in the Fort Road area, these projects are mostly freehold. These projects here are all similar in size with the three bedroom units here asking at about 2.3 to 2.4 million dollars with their size around 1,200 square feet. Their PSF is already moving upwards to 1,800 dollars. Moving on to the mayor area. Now this area is performing exceptionally well and are the market leaders in terms of pricing. There you have a good mix of new and old projects. The older projects such as the View at Mayor and the Makina are inching closer to towards the $3.5 million range and they are sized at 1,700 square feet. New launches such as One Mayor will go to be about 2.5 million with their unit sizes at 1,000 square feet. Now lastly, you have the Tanjong Ru projects and these are mostly the 99-year leasehold developments built around the 1990s to 2000s and they are sized minimally at the 1,500 square feet entry quantum around the $2 million range. The PSF here moves around $1,500, automatically setting a price disparity between the two other sectors. So after comparing these clusters, we feel that our unit here at the Water Place has a great entry quantum as well as a safe PSF for you to consider.
So enough facts and enough numbers, let's go check out the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom does come with an ensuite. So the master ensuite looks really spacious because of the way the mirrors are placed and that's really opening up the area. You have a step down shower inside which is a very generous size. And then you have your wash closet as well as your vanity counter top where you have your sink. Um, and you have also some space for you to put your toiletries as well as your makeup. Now let's check out the master bedroom. So similar with the other two bedrooms, the master room is also not very odd shaped and it's fairly squarish only towards the end where you have a little bit of a curve. So how the family here is using this space is that they've put a study table towards that end over there and they still have space to put a king size bed and a cabinet over here to put their books as well as some decorative items. And then towards this area here, they have four panels of wardrobe which is quite a very comfortable size. With all this space, if you like, you could do a TV feature wall come wardrobe so if you like more clothes, you can always extend this space out as well. talking about the home, let's move on into the facilities and the growth in the District 15 region. One of the projects that's happening around the area is the Founders Memorial and we think this is a very interesting project to look out for and it will be done up in 2027. So with this project being so close to the rejuvenation happening over on the other side, we're excited to see what's to come with the MRT effect that has yet to take place. Aside from that, the URA master plan shows that the empty plots of land in the enclave is zoned residential. With the trend of new launch prices moving, buyers looking to enter with a lower quantum and a larger size unit might look into a resale instead. With the MRT effect, the potential new launch as well as the Founders Memorial, we think that this area has a lot to look forward to and is great for investment journey. In terms of your facilities, you have two tennis courts, quite a few pools in the area as well as your barbecue pits and some chill out zones within the condo. joining us today at the Water Place. If you're looking for a generous 3 plus study bedroom here in the District 15, this area here is primed for growth and we're really looking forward to what's to happen with the rejuvenation coming up. Now our unit here is standing at 1496 square feet with one of the quietest spacings that you can find within the development. If you're keen to find out more or discuss more about opportunities here, you can give our listing team a call. Our details are right down below. But before we go, don't forget to click like on this video and check us out on YouTube. Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. I'm Nikayla from Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Now let's talk floor plans. There are over 20 different types of 3 bedroom units floor plan types. Brain. My brain. East Coast Parkway as well as the Marina Bay Golf Course. Can you see my phone now? Can I? Yeah. Racial wise, I think you can still put. <laughs> last time, last time. Okay. Without compromising on your walking and your comfort, okay, without compromising on your walking space. So let's talk floor plan. Now there are over twenty different types of three bed. You three bed. Moving on to the. Okay. So if you take a look at the map, so if you take, okay. so if you take a look, 